hi guys so i am here with budsy's boredom busters and today we are going to make a little fire breathing dragon so aren't these adorable these little fire breathing dragons you can blow in there and you can make his fire go um i like dragons i actually wrote a book monster and dragon write poems and i'm gonna make an orange and yellow dragon like this one today and I even have a Budsy that's a dragon. I had him made when I had my book published. So um, let's go ahead and begin. So let me tell you what you need for your supplies. You're going to need toilet paper tube, construction paper, whatever color you want it to be, or you can just color the toilet paper tube. You can paint it, you can use markers, whatever you want. You're gonna need some glue, you're gonna need some scissors, um, some tissue paper. So if your parents have um, some tissue paper in the gift closet or wherever you keep your gift wrapping materials, you'll need fire colors so that you can make the fire. So red, orange, yellow, any of those. You don't have to use all three. I just did because I wanted to. Um, and then for the eyes, you can use Google eyes or you can just simply on white paper, you can make a little eyeball, color in the black pupil, and you could glue those onto the little pom-poms. Um, I used two big pom-poms for eyes and then two little ones for the nose. But if you don't have pom-poms at home, you can always use cotton balls. These work just fine. Um, you could, again, color them. You can paint them. And um, if you need for the smaller ones, you can just rip off, rip a part of cotton ball into a smaller little ball. You can roll it into a little ball and that works too. So be creative with your supplies so that you have everything that you need. And I'm going to um, be using actually a hot glue gun. Only use this with your parents' supervision if you're allowed to or have your parents glue for you if you're gonna use that. Otherwise, you can use glue. I just need it to dry quickly so that I can show you what I'm doing as I'm doing it. So um, I'm gonna start with, I took my construction paper and I already laid down my tube on there and cut it to fit the tube so that when I wrap it around, I know that, know that it's going to exactly fit. And so I'm just gonna quickly glue this down so that it will stay. And so now I have my little yellow tube instead of white. And my next step is going to be, I'm gonna take my pom-poms that I had and I found some cool green Google eyes that I'm going to glue onto each one. So I'm putting the glue on there and then I'm sticking the eyeball on there. Sorry, I dropped my eyeball right there. And I'm gonna do the other one. And then I'm gonna take the eyeballs and glue them to the top of the tube. So you can see here, like on this one, I put the eyeballs on the pom-pom and the pom-pom on the tube. So I usually make sure the seam side is down so that it doesn't show because it doesn't look as nice. And so I just put some glue on the top of my tube and I'm gonna put each of these guys on here, like so. He's already looking pretty cute. I'm gonna adjust them, okay? And then I have my little tiny pom-poms that are gonna be his snout. So I just put a couple drops of glue there and now he has a little nose. And then comes the fire. So I um, took some red, yellow, and orange tissue paper and I cut it in strips. And so I have all of those gathered right here, my strips. Um, I folded them over so that they would stay nicely so that when I go to glue them in, I can just kind of glue them in like this. So I'm putting some glue inside my tube and then I'm just reaching in with my tissue paper and sticking it in there. Isn't that cute? And so I just use yellow paper and orange pom-poms and I have green Google eyes, but you can be really creative with your colors. I used a red and purple here. And on this one I used green, all greens. And then you can blow through it and you can make the fire go. So anyway, just a fun little thing for you to try if you would like to make your own fire breathing dragon out of some household items. I hope you had some fun and if you enjoyed this, I hope that you will um, post in the comments a picture of your dragon that you created. Thanks. I'll see you next time.